Good afternoon, everybody. Tech out here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, and this is a uh, Surface Pro 7 in 2021 review. I picked this thing up at Best Buy, and when I picked it up, it was $400 off, um, so a pretty good deal. It brought the price down to $799. This is the i5 8 gigabyte RAM, uh, 256 gigabytes of storage model in the matte black, which looks very very nice. Um, and it's been a while since I've had a Surface. Um, I've had a, I believe it was a Surface 2, and then I had a Surface Go when that first came out um, for $399 with the Intel Pentium, I believe, and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, the Surface 2 ran Windows RT, um, the Surface Go ran Windows 10 S, and you could switch that out of Windows 10 S mode for regular Windows 10 Home if you chose to for free, um, which is what I did, which just allows you to download apps from the internet and you're not limited just to the Windows Store and stuff like that. Now this one, Windows, um, the Microsoft Surface Pro 7, does come with regular Windows 10 Home out of the box, um, and it is upgradable to Windows 11 um, for free as well. I believe if you pick up a uh, Surface 8, it comes with Windows 11 out of the box, um, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so the specs on this are as follows. We will go to System, and about right here, um, and here are the specs. Let's see if we can get those to focus. It is the Intel i5 1035G4 CPU at 1.1 gigahertz with turbo boost up to 1.5. Nothing to write home about there. Eight gigabytes of RAM, also nothing to write home about there. Um, it does have the Intel Iris Pro graphics with the i5. The i3 model is the Intel uh, UHD graphics. Um, so you get a little bit better graphics on the i5 and i7 versions of these. Now, that being said, um, like I said, the processor is nothing spectacular. Um, it's not any type of powerhouse, but for what I'm using it for, which is, you know, just your standard web browsing and stuff like that, um, running some Windows apps here and there, checking email, all that kind of stuff, this thing has been performing excellent. Uh, no issues whatsoever. Let me prop it up a little bit here um, just so we can get that glare off the screen. Um, yeah, so the performance has been pretty good. Um, main reason I wanted this is I didn't want a full laptop with a keyboard that was always attached. Something like this, you can, you know, get the keyboard, the trackpad if you want to. Um, you're running the full Windows desktop, so you can, you know, use all that kind of stuff just as you would with any regular Windows computer or laptop. But when it comes to web browsing and stuff like that, I get the full desktop experience, no mobile apps or anything like that to have to worry about, um, which is very nice to have. Plus, if I want to do stuff like this, you know, run a Windows app on the go, um, I can do that pretty easily um, as this has enough power to run most of your day-to-day -day applications. I'm not using it for video editing or any kind of stuff like that. That's what I use my Mac for, um, so I'm not gaming on it, none of that. Um, but I can run regular applications, no problem. <laughs> Battery light, <coughs> excuse me. Battery life is somewhat decent. Um, again, it's not spectacular, but for what this is, it does pretty good. Um, I do like that it does have the included surface connector, um, which is the magnetic connector right here. And one nice touch to this is the little power brick has a USB on it. Um, it's just a 5 watt 1 amp port, but you can plug something in if you want to charge your phone. You know, if you take this on the go, you can take one charger and charge your surface and your phone, you know, something like overnight with it and not have to carry a bunch of cables around. So that is a nice feature to have. I don't know about this one, but I do believe that some of these do allow you to use this USB port as a USB port when it's connected to the Surface um, to do data transfer. I know it doesn't work for all of them, but I believe it does work for some of them. Um, correct me if I'm wrong with that down in the comments, but I think I saw that on the Microsoft website. There were adapters that supported that, but I'm not too sure which ones they were. Um, so if you can pick this up on the cheap, I definitely recommend it. <coughs> I don't think it's worth it to spend, you know, $1,200 on a um, Surface 8. This one did come out in 2019, so it's a couple years old by this point, but still a great, great device, and I do enjoy using it. Um, we also do have micro SD storage on the side here that is under the um, kickstand, so you can expand your storage if you so choose, or use that as a micro SD um, card reader. So that is the Surface Pro 7. It does have Windows Hello up here with the camera, which works pretty well. Um, haven't had any issues with it. We do have the back camera as well. I haven't really tried that out. 
but they are there if you need them, especially with all this work from home stuff going on. Um, a great device for video conferencing and stuff like that. So that's the Surface Pro 7. This has been Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.